The second half of the Sejong Center is dedicated to Korea's greatest military hero and arguably the world's greatest ever naval commander. Admiral Yi Sun Shin's war record reads 23 battles, all against Japan, 23 wins, and incredibly, zero times he's lost a ship. His most famous battle, the Battle of Myongyang, is considered one of the greatest military manoeuvres and now Korean legend. In 1597, an enormous fleet of 330 enemy ships takes sail from Japan towards Joseon. Korea versus Japan. A street fighter. In response, Yi Sun Shin sent out a single ship to lure the enemy into the Myongyang Strait. Without the Japanese coming, Japanese coming up. But just before the Japanese reached the end of the strait, they were met with the entire Joseon fleet, all 13 of them. Because what Yi Sun Shin had planned was that the strait would be too narrow for the enemy to flank around the sides, and too choppy for them to get close enough for hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Joseon ships then unleashed their superior cannons at the densely formation Japanese ships, forcing them to retreat. Three hundred years later, Japan's great Admiral Togo paid the ultimate compliment, saying, You may compare me with Lord Nelson, but not with Yi Sun Shin. Next to him, I am only a petty officer. Today, King Sejong and Yi Sun Shin's statue stand pride of place in Seoul's city centre, and the most watched film of all time in South Korea is The Admiral, based on the Battle of Myongyang. So when you come to Seoul, don't be as lazy as me and go get a selfie with a great admiral. <laughs>